Thank you for watching. We're doing something a little interesting today. If you remember about 13 years or so ago, the two-part video I made about fast food, fast food wars to be exact, this was the place. This is the Dairy Queen on Manor Road in Austin, Texas. We're kind of starting from the back of the store instead of the front. I guess because I'm trying to low-key film. Because I don't know who all works there now. I don't know how they're going to take to it. So I'm trying to ease my way in if it makes any sense. But you see how up-to-date and modern that store looks? It didn't look like that when I worked there. In fact, the entry door is right there right right there it used to be directly on the front and all that was a bunch of glass windows and this right here is the back door I see the peephole still there if you remember that part of the video when I was talking about the guy who pulled up in a car full of junk including a an old tele tube set tube television and he was about to throw it in our dumpster of course, that's not the same dumpster that we had back then, but the GM was sitting there and she, and we hadn't even opened yet. And she said, she told me to go tell him he can't do that. So I popped out through that door right there and said, you can't throw it away here, bud. He's like, sorry. I closed that door and I'm looking through the peephole and he's looking around and he proceeds to go back to doing it again. And that's when I popped it back open. I said, you can't do that. And he gave me the, the go to hell look. I'm going to go ahead and reposition. Okay, I've repositioned and that right there was the front of the store when I was working there. See, the drive through still in the same place. Hmm, I got a story about that one. When I first was trained on drive through I remember I kept answering the thing like, okay, if we were super busy instead of saying I'll be right with you I was hitting the button and saying Dairy Queen please hold sounding exasperated as hell too well the general manager stepped away to do something but then she came right back and she was walking through the kitchen and there's a sp there was a speaker and I'm sure there still is but a speaker in the kitchen that can actually play drive-through conversation I guess that's to give the cooks enough room to get a leg up on making whatever they need to make but she she came back from wherever she was and she was walking through the kitchen and she heard me say Dairy Queen please hold and she was like it's I'll be right with you you sounded very rude I still to this day almost 20 years later laugh about that Right where you see that outdoor picnic area, it didn't used to be there. That was additional parking. In fact, right where right where the lobby stretches out to, probably about half of what you see that I'm showing you now used to not be there. Because I used to park my car right there, and in fact, there was a night my car actually got burgled right there. Son of a bitch took a pack of cigarettes and a cell phone and I don't remember what else. It wasn't too important. And you guessed it, APD really didn't do too much about it. But I'm going to go ahead and go in now and we'll go from there. Okay, now I'm inside the store and I'm just waiting on my food, but I'm trying to do it without recording everyone. But right where that sign is is where the front door used to be. And of course the counter stretched out a little longer and they got a new cold drink machine I can see. Occupied if red light is flashing. It looks like they put electric locks on the bathroom doors. Wonder what's up with that. And this right here, Friday Night Lights. The Alamo scenes from that show was filmed at this store, and I was actually here when it happened. But to throw this out here, right where the sign is, like I said, that's where the front door was. But this is also the spot where, okay, right there next to that trash can to the right, that's where it happened, where that Mexican that was built like a Freightliner, or actually, no, he was built like a Peterbilt. That's the one that I got into it with that was talking about, see something else I can come across that counter and wipe that fucking smile off your face. 
And I was like, right there where that girl to the left is who's making something. Okay, so this is what I got. I got a got a belt buster, which is a double meat, double cheese made with bacon and jalapenos and these weren't on the menu when I worked here but thing of cheese curds and ranch sauce so I'm about to go to town on them well that really really hit the spot it's kind of ironic to say that I drove for over 400 miles to pay full price for food I used to eat every day for free this is pretty neat bad attitudes here the owner actually incorporated that when I was working there. I kind of want to take that same sign and put it over the toilet though. Well, I guess that's going to conclude our, our visit to the old workstead. Place I gave three years of my life to and even became an assistant manager at. Actually, the first time in my life I had a position of management, it was here. But other than that, thank y'all for watching. God bless.